What is going on out there, folks? Rooster here in Tennessee. Got another video for you. This is a radio that I do have for sale. Uh, just picked this radio up in a trade a couple days ago. It's the Ranger Freedom One. Uh, there's the model number under the knob there, if you can see, under the channel selector 696 FD1 for Freedom One. It does have AM, upper sideband, lower sideband. I'll give you a pan across the controls here, pretty basic controls. Counter turns on and off. Um, it does have added channels into it. They've been uh, what I like to call hot shotted. And uh, we'll go into that here in a second. Clarifier is uh, not quite lined up. And I don't think it's been tied for uh, receive and transmit. Uh, yesterday when I hooked it up, the meter light was not working. I've been pecking on it, see if it'll go back off. It started working all of a sudden. I have no idea why, uh, but it does work now. Well, that being said, if it, it, it's possible that it's got a loose connection and it could go back out uh, when I ship it or whatever. Uh, channel selector's in good shape on it. It's by no means a, a new condition type radio or anything. It is a used radio. It's got a little wear on it. You know, you can tell where it's had probably some tape or something on it. Uh, and on the bottom side, it's got some, some stuff on it too. We'll flip it up and take a look at it. You can see like a little residue there, but the face is in pretty good shape and the radio does function. It does have the added channels I'll show you here. They don't line up exactly because they've been hot shotted in. It's not an official channel kit, it's, it's just a mod. You push that in and now you've got the higher channels, you know, band above 40 or so up until channel 32, I believe. Yep, 26, 27,965, and then jumps to 335. With both of these buttons pushed in, the tone button and the dim button, you're on regular 40. Everything lines up, you know, pretty perfectly, aside from the clarifier. See, all the frequencies line up. If you push this one out, you go to the lower channels, like there's 26915. Now, anybody that knows, you know, 26915 is a band below 40, uh, except it's 36. So basically it's 40 channels below 36, regular 36. Um, but it doesn't line up on here. Um, so you'll, you'll have that. So that's 26915. And again, up until channel 33 is your channel. See, that's actually, <coughs> excuse me, I think that's channel 4, 27005, I believe. But there you go, 26915 is 24 uh, with the button pushed out. Again, both buttons in, bam, 28. Uh, both buttons out is also a set of channels, I believe. Yeah, it is. It's uh, just a little bit above 40. That would be channel 40, and then everything else is above. Sorry, I got my hand in the way there. And then up to channel 33 once again, and it jumps back down. So that gives you guys a kind of a, a layout of how the channels work. We'll do an output test on it. I'll show you that it does receive. I'm just going to key up another radio on a dummy load real quick. Hello, 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 hello. Whoop. Volume went up. Oh hell, look at that. See, I got messed up and got off channel. I'm like, something's not right, but I got off channel. Hello, 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 hello. Does receive, that's just dummy load to dummy load. And uh, then we'll show you that it transmits here. We'll check it on a Bird 43P, 50 watt scale, 50 watt slug, uh, middle scale, we'll do average power first. Hey, 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 average power, average power, average power, average power, average power, average power, average power. Hey, 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 hey. Talking regular about nine watts. If I, you know, get crazy into it like that, about 10 watts average, let's see if it's keying. A watt to two watts, it looks like. Let's check it on peak. This is AM. We'll check it on sideband here in a second. This is peak. 
Hey, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Middle scale, middle scale, middle scale, middle scale, middle scale, middle scale. 24 to 25 watts peak. We'll come over here and put it on lower sideband. Hey, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hello, 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 hello. About 24 watts peak. And then we'll come over here and uh, put it on upper sideband. Hey, 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 audio test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hello, audio. One, two. About 24 watts peak on it. That's it. Uh, this is for sale. I'm going to let it roll. I'll leave it up here for probably a week, and uh, nobody wants it. I'll, uh, I'll throw it on eBay and attach a video to it. But, again, I don't know who's necessarily been in this radio and done all the work to it. Uh, but I know it's a working radio. And, uh, you know, it's got, you know, it's few cosmetic issues or whatever, but uh, overall it seems to be a, a good function radio. And uh, if you're interested in it, you know, ask me the price on the video. I can't say the price in the video because if I put this thing on eBay and I say the price in the video, uh, they'll be complaining that I've, that I've, you know, stated a price outside of eBay's price or whatever, so. That's it, guys. Ranger Freedom 1. All right. Questions, comments, complaints, let me know. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, have a good night. I appreciate it. 73s.